Good Wednesday morning, South Florida. One of those days where if we could stay at home, we would because the weather outside is quite windy and wet and just really messy for the morning commute. So if you need to get to somewhere that is a far distance, you're going to want to leave early and drive slowly as you could hydroplane. And also for high profile vehicles, we have some very gusty winds. In fact, tropical storm force wind gusts at this point. And you can see from our Biscayne Bay camera, it's shaking. We have the raindrops on the lens. The radar is showing the widespread showers sweeping in off the Atlantic due to a tropical wave over the Bahamas. Parkland right now and parts of Tamarack getting soaked, especially around Dania Beach, Hallandale Beach, as well as parts of Pembroke Pines right now dealing with some fast moving showers. And we're dealing with some heavier rain right now across parts of Dade County and Key Biscayne, Port of Miami, downtown Miami, Coral Gables, Pinecrest. Get ready for that red shaded area. Those are some heavier downpours headed your way. Kendall, Sunset, the Hammocks, Country Walk, Cutler Bay, and down through Homestead and Leisure City, also getting drenched across the Keys, Isla Mirada and Ocean Reef. Look at the sustained winds right now, 14 to 26 miles per hour. And then we have, again, tropical storm force wind gusts. Gusts as high as 39 in West Kendall, 36 in Fort Lauderdale. So really the winds have increased and the temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. We're going to continue with that dangerous high risk of rib current, so not safe to go swimming. A small craft advisory, hazardous marine conditions continuing, and then a coastal flood advisory continues through 4 a.m. Onshore wind higher than normal king tides leading to that coastal flooding, possibly around those low-lying areas along the coast. High tide times around 8.35 a.m. and 8.56 p.m. The reason for all the showers and the gusty winds is due to the strong wave currently over the Bahamas. It is going to be moving across our area has a low potential of cyclone development. It's just a complex front trough. And then we also have another area of disturbed weather, which has a high chance of development. It's in the southern Caribbean, and it's expected to drift northward into the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to have to watch that. So we're going to remain unsettled. In fact, tonight into tomorrow could be even stormier with some strong storms possible for your Thursday. Spotty downpours Friday, and then the weekend weather will all depend on this developing tropical system, but we could see Sun at times passing storms, or it could be stormier if it's closer. For today, 86 degrees. Hang on to that umbrella. Windy, warm with those gusty downpours. Your extended forecast showing we're going to continue with the rain as we head into uh, your latter part of the week and the weekend. It all depends on the tropics. For right now, looking on the stormy side. Right